Many public and private organizations require means of verifying the authenticity of computers and external entities they must communicate with. Without a reliable means of establishing trust between systems on internal and external networks, secure and safe communication on the internet would be impossible. When you go to a website to purchase products and services or pay bills or manage a bank account, how can you be sure they are who they say they are and not an imposter? Internet phishing scams defraud many through impersonation of trusted clients. When you receive an email, how can you know the sender is really who they say they are and not an imposter? When you connect to a server, how can you be sure the server is who it claims to be and not a counterfeit? To provide for this need, many organizations utilize a public key infrastructure, or PKI. An Active Directory Certificate Services specifically provides for this need. The PKI allows organizations to determine trustworthiness, identity, and authenticity of clients based on certificates and keys they possess. These keys are generated by various encryption algorithms and cryptographic routines. If we had a secret organization or a secret club and we were communicating with another party and they wanted to gain entry into our club, these keys would be the bouncer at the door demanding, what's the password? A typical PKI is asymmetric, that is it uses two keys. It makes use of both a public and private key. The public key only works one way and provides a means of encryption but not decryption. This public key can be given out by an organization to anyone that needs the means to send encrypted data to that organization. If the public key is compromised by a hacker, the damage is minimal because the key can only be used to encrypt data, not decrypt it. Therefore, the hacker, even upon possessing the key, does not gain the ability to intercept private data secured with the public key. In contrast to the public key, the private key is kept on the server and protected. It alone has the means to decrypt what has been encrypted with the public key, so access to it is restricted. The exception to this rule is a digital signature, which is a PKI in reverse. When digitally signing something, the private key encrypts the document and the public key decrypts it. In this way, anyone can verify that the signer is who they say they are, but cannot impersonate the signer. Before modern PKIs, systems often use symmetric or one-key encryption providing shared secret keys that would both encrypt and decrypt. The danger of this arrangement is that if the shared secret keys are intercepted, the integrity and security of communications is compromised due to the fact that the attacker can use the key to decrypt the payload contents of the transmission. PKIs are widely used with internet encryption standards such as Transport Layer Security or TLS, the new and improved version of SSL Secure Sockets Layer. Pretty Good Privacy, or PGP, and GNU Privacy Guard, that's GPG, the Linux open source alternative to PGP. RSA, short for its creators, Rivas, Shamir, and Edelman, is an algorithm employed by PKIs. It generates and multiplies two large prime numbers, and after subsequent calculations, follows a formula that generates private-public key pairs, whereby the public key is one way. This means it can be applied to encrypt, but the process cannot be reversed to decrypt. A certification authority, or CA, issues certificates and public-private key pairs for systems to use in communications on a network. CAs are hierarchical, and as such may have subordinate CAs that operate beneath them. The CA that operates at the top of the hierarchy is known as the root CA, and it authorizes its subordinates to offer certificates and keys. Let's preview some PKI terms. Woohoo! Digital Certificate a digital certificate contains identifiers for a computer, service, or user, the certificate owner's name and public key, the digital signature of the CA that issued the certificate, and the certificate's expiration date. Digital Signature A digital signature operates in contrast to the standard PKI model. The certificate is encrypted with the signer's private key, and it is decrypted with their public key to verify the sender's authenticity. Single Sign-On a single sign-on is an online certificate authority that issues digital certificates but never stores them. It commonly uses X509 certificates. Which brings us to the next point, X509. What is X509? A cryptographic standard used in PKIs. Certificates issued in compliance with this standard must provide certain key features like version, serial number, algorithm ID, issuer identity, and length of validity to name a few. Here are some PKI Certificate Authority terms that specifically relate to Active Directory. NDES, or Network Device Enrollment Service, allows network devices like routers to enroll for certificates in a Windows 2008 PKI and beyond. SAP, or Simple Certificate Enrollment Protocol, is the protocol used by NDES to allow network devices to enroll for certificates. 
Certificate Revocation List, or CRL, is referenced when authenticating in a PKI and lists certificates that are revoked due to expiration or security risks. Key Recovery Agents Key recovery agents are user accounts able to recover private keys in Active Directory if these keys are lost using a Key Recovery Agent Certificate. Key Archival Key Archival stores a copy of each certificate's private key on the Certificate Authority server. Auto Enrollment Auto Enrollment allows clients to automatically request certificates through group policy and templates. This feature is available in 2003 and beyond. Online Responder an online responder makes revocation information available from an organization's certificate authorities. Certificate Templates Certificate templates automate deployment of PKI certificates. The Enroll ACL allows clients to manually request a certificate, and the Auto Enroll ACL allows clients to automatically be issued a certificate based on the template. There are two basic types of certificate authorities in Windows. The first type of CA is standalone. A standalone certificate authority does not allow auto enrollment since it is not incorporated into Active Directory. It requires an administrator to approve certificate requests, can function as both a root and subordinate certificate authority, and when acting as a root CA, it can be taken offline to harden security. The second type of CA is Enterprise. An Enterprise certificate authority is integrated with Active Directory and can use templates to auto enroll clients. It can store certificates in the Active Directory database and it too can function as both a root and subordinate CA. Here are some methods of both requesting and issuing certificates. First, you might choose to use the Certificate Request Wizard. This allows users to manually create a certificate request using the Microsoft Management Console Certificate Snap-in. Second, you might choose to use the Certificate Authority Web Enrollment. This allows users to request certificates to the Internet Information Services web server using the URL HTTPS hostname cert server. Third, you might choose group policy, which can also be used to establish auto enrollment for OUs and domains. The cert util tool also bears mentioning. It's a command line tool for administering certificate services. Here's some examples of syntax. Cert util backup would backup a certificate authority. Cert util restore would restore a certificate authority.